Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite South Florida realtor, Jason, and we're in North Miami. For those of you who don't know North Miami, it's just under Aventura, just across the bridge from Sunny Isles, and it's just above Brickell. You're in the iconic spot, no worries about traffic, and we're in the quiet neighborhood of San Susi. And for those of you who don't know, San Susi means carefree, and that's exactly what this is. It's a carefree luxury tour of this modern, new construction smart home. It's got six bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, just under 5,400 square feet, it's also got a 75 foot dock with a 15,000 pound boat lift. And it's asking just under $6 million. And on that note, why don't you follow me so we can get started and take a look inside. Come on. A driveway that could fit probably easily four cars comfortably, two car garage in there. And then when you come up this path, look at all the landscaping. So nicely done. House number on the wall, it's beautiful. Coming up these steps, lighted steps, rail to guide you. And then when you get to this point, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You have a front yard. Even when you look down this way, you have about 1200 square feet of a private front yard in Miami. Doesn't exist except for right here. And the landscaping around, once that grows in, you're gonna have total and complete privacy. But we're right here by the front door. Let's get inside. Stepping inside, nice and cool in here. I'm, I'm free from all the hot Miami air, but it's nice and cool because we got these hurricane impact windows. And there's one thing I wanna mention about these windows, even before I talk about anything about this house, when I walk over here, so usually we talk about indoor outdoor living and you say like, oh, like, look, these doors, they slide open and whatnot. But the first question I get on every video is like, Oh, what about mosquitoes? Like, I want all these mosquitoes to bug me and, and get in the way of entertaining. Well, you don't have to worry about that because right over here, you have a screen that slides down all the way to the end and it's on both of these windows. So you have it over here and over there. So if you're entertaining, keep all these windows open. You have the screen and there's no mosquitoes in your house whatsoever. The best part is it overlooks the whole front yard. So if you're having, I don't know, playing some football, some soccer out there, you can keep it open, hear the kids, play around with them, and uh, no mosquitoes, which is the biggest downside of keeping these doors open in South Florida. And we've been in a lot of houses, a lot of price ranges, I've never seen that feature. It's beautiful, it's simple, and uh, it's very effective. But let's talk about inside now that we're here. As soon as you come in, look at the furniture in here. You have that, like, this retro kind of style with these beautiful light fixtures. Super comfortable looking chair in the back wall and the art surrounding it. The ceilings also go all the way up to the top. So it feels very open and grand. Also, this furniture, if you like it so much, you know, put in a nice offer. Maybe it'll uh, come with the offer that you, that you submit, but it's gotta be a really great offer because there's some nice pieces in here and it fits so perfectly with the house. I'm getting that Miami, but new construction, but modern vibe in here and I'm really loving it. And just off of the dining room, look at this. Look at this TV room. The furniture, it's, it's got enough space for huge families. A huge sofa, this long, relaxing couch. You got the replica on that side. Two tables, a couple uh, little features, seating in here. Mirrors on the wall. A huge TV entertainment stand. TV on the wall, gotta have it. And then my favorite part, probably the only thing that this room needed, you have like a, a bar on one side. So you know it's movie night, you know, just, romantic evening, get some drinks, sit down on the couch, enjoy, watch. Name a better time than just having a, a good relaxing drink with the family. And then as we come around to this side, this is your access into the pool area, but we're gonna pass this just for now because the kitchen is right down here. Come a little bit further down. This door right here on my right, this is a elevator shaft. So if you need an elevator, accessible reasons, or you just want an elevator in your house, you got the spot for it, and there's a door right above this one where you can have the elevator go in, so it's already there for you. And then we'll make a right into this room, and here we have the kitchen. Love it, love everything about this kitchen. Well, let's just start with the basics, the appliances. You got your Mila coffee maker, check it out. 
wine cooler down below. You have a fridge and a freezer, and I love the finish on the panels of the cabinet. It's all flush and European and modern, and then boom, Bosch oven, and this is also an oven, and microwave. Beautiful. Some more storage over here, and then you got your electric stove top. The cool thing is, right behind this wall, there's also a gas hookup. So if you want gas appliances in here, you can get them. It's easy. But the way they have it here, it's just nice and flush, and you still get your vents above hidden behind this wood finish right here. On the opposite side, you have your sink with a water filtration system. So you get that fresh water right out the tap next to your sink. And looking back this way, I mean, this is just like a breath of fresh air. You have corner view overlooking the water, your pool. These windows are beautiful. And the best part is they actually open up from the corners. So let me show you that as we pass this little breakfast table. Look how perfect this is. Perfect right here. But let me show you what, let me, let me paint a picture for you, if you will. So, you know, it's a sunny, beautiful day, just like today. Open this door. We're gonna open this door. But we don't want the mosquitoes like I was talking about earlier. Grab this guy. Where is it? Oh, right here. Screen. Screen. And now you can have breakfast, have that indoor outdoor feel, but not have to worry about any of the mosquitoes. It doesn't get any better than that. And you know what? All this talk about indoor outdoor living, I think it's time to show you outside. So let's, let me fix these doors so I can take you outside and show you one of my favorite parts of the pool area. So stepping on out, you have the kitchen right over here and just adjacent to that kitchen, you have the outdoor kitchen. Normally outdoor kitchens, it's all rusty. It looks old, looks beaten up, not here. You have a really European clean, kitchen out here, sink. You got your fridge stocked up with everything I like. Ooh, got seltzers, wine, champagne, the best. And then your outdoor grill. Just let me paint a picture, right? You come home from fishing, it's time to grill. Put the fish on the grill, chop it up, and you're just having dinner with your friends and family right here on my right. This eight person table. This is like your outdoor dining room, if you will, on a cool night or even a bright sunny day like today. Coming out here, cooking fish up, having a good time. I mean, that's just memories. We'll pass around to this side. Here you have one of the first lounging areas. If you had to go buy it right now, it's probably gonna run you around $40,000. But it, I mean, I don't know about you, it looks like $40,000 to me. It just looks like class and elegance. I mean, I just wanna, just wanna sit here and just, ah. I mean, are, you, are you catching these vibes? I'm, I'm hoping they're translating because the vibes are in fact immaculate. And uh, for those of you who want to go to the ocean but are scared of those, the wildlife in the ocean, you want to be in the salt water but you're scared of the sea. Listen, we all have our fears, but I got you covered. We have a salt water pool and it's heated. So on those freezing cold Florida nights, you get inside to your warm pool. A couple chairs, a couple viewers of the action. And then we come into the shade right here. You have a shaded dining room. Also has eight seats, so the same people over there it's accommodating, you can accommodate them right here. Big, huge TV on the wall, couple mirrors to accentuate the room that we're in. And then this is just off of where the living room was, actually, and you have your sitting lounger. I mean, look how, this looks so comfortable. I just wanna, this is like one of the, oh my gosh. Look, I mean, this is insane. It's so comfortable. I can see the TV, it's huge. And there's also surround sound speakers everywhere. So this is pretty much top tier entertainment. The last thing I wanna show you, if you follow me this way, is your dock and boat lift. So it's pretty obvious we're in Miami on the water. You know the vibes. But you also have a 75 foot dock just over here with a built in boat lift. As you can see, there's a jet ski here, but it can hold up to 15,000 pounds of equipment. So you can put your boat here, pull it up out of the water just like your neighbors. Looking down this way, I can see all the way into the bay. And then you have access over here. Another thing I'd like to mention is that there are no fixed bridges. You can go straight out to the ocean and, uh, and the vibes are immediate. Looking back on the house, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. It looks like Picasso designed this house. And uh, I think it's time that we head back inside, finish up the first floor, and then take a look upstairs. So 
Follow me, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna throw an ad in right here. So I'll see you when, it, when the ad finishes. Okay, let's go. We just came back inside. I just want to take one more look at this kitchen. It's beautiful. I don't want to leave. I want to invite my friends and my mother over here and just have a great evening. But I have a, I have a job to do, so follow me down into here. As we come a little bit further down, just so I can keep you on the same layout, kitchen was in front of me. Down there was the living room, and we're gonna come down this hallway. On my right, you're gonna have the laundry room, and a thing I want to point out is, you know, houses, they're 8,000 square feet, 6,000 square feet, but a lot of it's wasted. This is the laundry room and they just kept it to the bare minimum. What you actually need, a washer, dryer, sink, not no wasted space in here. And then on my left, you have a bedroom. This room was almost intended as like a staff room, if you will, but I don't know about you, does this look like a staff room? Doesn't look like a staff room to me. It's got a, a very comfortable looking bed. It's got the side tables, matching lamps, TV. Look at the uh, closet and dresser over here. Even got a floor to ceiling window that you can pop open. Love everything about that. And then your ensuite on this side. And we're gonna head out of this room, come a little bit further down and just adjacent to this, you have your half bathroom. It's great for the guests. It's right by the front door, right by the kitchen. It's a perfect access point. And then behind me is your garage. So we'll come into here. You have a two car garage, a true two car garage, cars not included. And you have a really nice space. If you have motorcycles and whatnot, you can fit them quite easily right here. And you even have like a really cool attic or a kid's playroom up there. I know every child who watches this will want to go up there and build like a fort. I know I would. And uh, you know, it's just a really, like when people say two car garage, it's super tight. You can throw the doors open and you're not hitting anybody. And you can store some things as well. So now that we've finished everything on the first floor, follow me back down this way. I wanna take you upstairs to the second floor. The stairwell is just over here, just so everyone, I get a lot of comments, like they, they're kind of lost. So I wanna show them kitchen over there. This is where your elevator shaft will be, living room, and then stairwell. So follow me upstairs and no ad right here. We're just getting right into it, follow me. Heading up these stairs, I love the finish on the stairs as well. It just, it's just a change. It's almost like you're eating too much of one thing, you wanna try something else, you got it on the stairs. It's a little dramatic, but you know what I mean? Like the floor, now, now we're at like a hard tile looking floor as we come down this way. This is where that dining room had the double height ceiling. You can kind of like look over and just above in the ceiling you have these almost like sunlights, but at night they glow. So you have this energy coming, almost like moonlight coming from the ceiling at night and light during the day. It's beautiful. The railing blocking it, also very elegant and clean. And then as we come down to this way, it's gonna take us into one of the first rooms. How you see it now, it's laid out like a gym. So you got your gym equipment, two closets over there, TV on the wall, full body mirror. You got all your equipment. I don't think I can use any of it. This thing looks like it weighs 200 pounds. It's fine. But you got a floor to ceiling window over here and then just adjacent to this room, you have another bedroom. I want you to ask yourself a question. Do you think this is a master bedroom? Does it look like the master bedroom? I mean, king size bed, wall to wall windows, desk, TV, is this a master bedroom? It's not. This is just a guest bedroom. It took me by surprise at first. The space in here, this is, I, honestly, this is, one of the sizes that I've seen for a few master bedrooms and some other property tours. This is just another guest suite, very lucky guest. En suite over here, walk-in shower, but this room size is just, it's beautiful. It's really nice. Any guest would be really lucky to stay here. Closet behind this door. And then we're gonna walk down, follow me. So the way that the house is laid out right now, it's almost just for like two people living here. You got two offices on each side, so they're not really made up like bedrooms, but we'll take a look into the first office. 
Once again, the space in here. You got your computer set up. If you want to keep this as an office, that's a racing simulator over there. Pretty cool. And then your ensuite on my left. You got a full length balcony on that side, but we're going to save that balcony for the second room that it touches. So we'll come over here. This is the second office. Once again, you can just look at the design. It's so beautiful. And this suite is really special because besides the huge space it has, the access to the balcony, it actually has its own tub in here. So you want to take a nice relaxing bath. You can easily do that. And the finish in each room, each ensuite is the same. It's really elegant, clean, windows in here for lighting. But now it's time to take you to the main suite of this whole property, the master suite. So follow me out of this room. We're gonna pass the stairwell that we just came up on my left, come a little bit further down, and on my right, you're gonna have the main suite. When I walk in, now, now you understand that this is the master. Like, it's so big, it's probably double the size of the other rooms, it's huge. And you walk into like a TV area right in front of your bed. So you got the two chairs, little table between them, dresser with a massive Samsung TV. Once again, a little wet bar situation over here, some storage. It's beautiful looking back. I mean, this, this room is, it's definitely the biggest room in the house, but it just feels so open and light and beautiful. You've got this balcony on my right. Let's say that for the end. Let's, let's talk about the room first. You got your king size bed over there. When you come down, one of my favorite ways to have closets, rather than having doors and closets, I find it very can, like tight and closed off two open closets. So you have his and hers, hers and hers. Give all of it to her and you just keep a dresser for yourself. You know, who cares? But you got look how much space there is. It's so open, so fresh, so clean. Then off the closets, it takes us into the ensuite. One of my favorite bathrooms. I mean, for starters, you have plants in your shower. So look at this walk-in shower. <laughs> you don't have to water them. You just take a shower and you're taking the and they can wash the plants off one time while you're here. But look, two rain heads on each side, a couple spots for your shampoo conditioner, a little seat over here, the handhelds. Yeah, I know you guys like those handhelds. And then the elegant drain. I know you guys like the elegant drain at the bottom. Coming out of this glass door shower takes us into a center of the room soak in tub. Love that. It's so nice, so beautiful. Dual sinks, ensuite. And while you're sitting here taking a shower, just like downstairs, when you open up these doors, keep the screen closed. So you have a screen, you can have that true indoor outdoor feel without worrying about any of the wildlife that we love so much in South Florida. Let, let me take you guys outside into this feature that this master suite has, which not many do. Look at this, you have an outdoor terrace just off of your ensuite, and it's got another shower out here. So on a day like today, you gotta take an outdoor shower, you can do it. You got the same handheld right in head above, it's absolutely beautiful. You got these wooden slats, so it's like nature, kind of like no one can see you, but you can kind of see out. It's kind of kind of nice. I like it. It's, it feels very risky. And you got some plants on your left, a couple chairs over here, mirrors on the wall, your speaker at the top. I mean, this is, this is just like a party house. This is a dream party house. I love every inch of the design, but let me take you onto that balcony that extends the length of the property so I can finish up the video and give you that beautiful view from there. Close this up. Watch how silent and smooth this hurricane impact door is. Like a bank vault. As we walk further down, it's gonna take us into the uh, outdoor master balcony. I mean, uh, uh, what? what? Beautiful. Look at this. I mean, this is Miami. This is Miami. Water. Beautiful blue skies. I can see the open ocean. Pool, I can hear the little fountain. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It goes down the length of the whole property. Place to sit, play some cards. You can see all your guest bedrooms, but this is actually where I'm gonna end the video today. I really, really appreciate you coming on this tour with me. If you like this video, don't forget to beat up that subscribe button, mash it, hit the like button. I don't even know what that does, but I'm sure it helps. And um, if you'd like to see some more tours, yeah, we'll have some more tours. So follow us, follow us on Instagram. If you like the music, it'll all be in the description below. If you want to know the equipment we're using, that'll be in the description below. And uh, follow us on the next one. Really care about you, respect you, love you, and would never want to lose you.
So I'll see you at the next one. Have a great day.